Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Ian Shepard, and I'm the owner of Right Start Newcomer Services. And today we have a really good English lesson. So this is our Learn Canadian English lesson for CLB 5 and 6. And today, as you might be able to guess, I'm in a clothing store. And we're going to talk about how to go shopping for clothes in English. Uh, but before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge that Right Start Newcomer Services conducts businesses business in Chibuktuk, which is how you say Halifax in the Mi'kmaq language. This city is part of the ancestral, unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. This means that when settlers came, the indigenous people did not surrender their territory and instead signed treaties with Europeans. As a business, we are committed to upholding these treaties as we continue to build relationships between settlers, newcomers, and Mi'kmaq people. So I'd like to welcome everybody to the live stream. So I hope you're doing well. Please say hello in the chat. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your questions as we go through today's lesson. And I see Rodrigo's here. Hey, good morning, Rodrigo. Rodrigo's been a great student. He shows up on time, he's ready to learn, he's got answers, he's got questions. So thank you, Rodrigo, for being such a good student. And I'd like to hear from other people as well. Um, so how's everybody doing? It's a beautiful day here in Halifax. Uh, maybe you're out enjoying the beautiful weather, but hopefully a few people will be here for today's lesson. And if you're watching the replay, thank you very much for tuning into that. Okay, so uh, let's get going. Uh, one moment. Sorry, uh, my camera's in the way. Okay, so all ready for today's lesson. Loading. There we go. Okay, so to, for today's lesson, we've got a lot of good stuff. So we're gonna start with some discussion. So I'm gonna ask you questions. I wanna hear what you guys say. Um, then we've got some clothing vocabulary. So we have quite a few words that we're gonna go over today. Some of them new, some might be a review for you. Um, and it's also a good way to check your spelling. So check your spelling. I'm gonna ask you what these words are and I want you to write it in the comments section. Uh, grammar, we've got a good grammar point. So we're gonna talk about adjectives and what order adjectives go in. So as you might know, adjectives follow a certain order. We're gonna talk more about that later. Um, the next thing is practice. We're gonna do some practice describing items. So I have a big basket of laundry here I'm gonna hold up an item, you're gonna describe it in a few words using the words we practice and also some of the adjectives and the adjective order we'll go over. Uh, finally, we're gonna do a practice dialogue. So we're gonna pretend we're in the clothing store and I'm gonna get you guys to, to write down what you would say in this situation. So does that sound good? Uh, I'm really excited about today's lesson even though I really don't like shopping for clothes, uh, as you might be able to tell, right? Uh, so I don't really like shopping for clothes, but I know that it's part of life and it's a necessity for, for most of us. So Bay says, hi, hi, Bay. How's it going in Brazil? Thank you for joining us again. Uh, Irene's here from Russia. Hey, Irene, uh, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. The weather's nice. I don't have anything after this, so I'm gonna go for a nice run. Uh, get some fresh air and exercise, and then I'll get back to work. So I'm really looking forward to that. And Shahili's here. Hey, Shahili. Good morning. How are you today? Uh, I know you're in Halifax, and I hope you're doing well. Okay, great. So let's move on. So outline looks good. Um, so let's just have a little conversation. So you can put your answers in the comments section. So number one, you can answer any of these questions, all of these questions. Number one, do you like shopping for clothes? Why or why not? So I already answered that one. 
I don't like it because I feel uncomfortable. The salespeople always ask me questions. I don't want to tell them that I don't like their clothes or the price is too high. So I prefer shopping online, actually. Uh, nobody's asking me questions. I also like shopping at stores like Costco because there's no clerks around. You just pick it up. You know, you can try it on at home and take it back. No problem if it doesn't fit. Uh, number two, what's your favorite piece of clothing? So that's a good question. What is your favorite shirt, dress, hat, pants? Tell us a little bit about it. So maybe write a sentence. What does it look like? What's the material? Where did you get it? Uh, so just let us know about your favorite piece of clothing. Number three, do you prefer shopping online or in person? So I already answered that one for myself. And the last one, how do Canadians dress? Okay, that's, if you, you're in Canada, you might be able to answer that. If not, maybe you have an idea from TV, movies, maybe your friends live here. So how do Canadians dress? Um, so we have another message from Shahili. I'm doing great. It's my Eid day. Yes, so Eid Mubarak to everybody who practices, uh, who is a Muslim and is observing Eid today. So happy Eid, everybody. Uh, thank you, Shahili. Lena answered number one, I like shopping very much. This is my therapy. Okay, this is expensive therapy. Uh, they do have a, a term for that in English. It's called retail therapy. So if you're feeling bad, sad, bored, lots of people like to go shopping. Uh, yeah, so it's not one of my hobbies or my therapy, but I'm glad that you enjoy it, Lena. Okay, great. Uh, Bay says, I hate people around me asking things and pushing me things to buy. So I can sympathize with that. Uh, I also don't like that as well. So probably, Bay, you don't like shopping that much. Uh, okay, great. Thank you, Bay. Uh, and Shahili says, Eid Mubarak, everybody. Uh, thank you for sharing that, Shahili. Same to you. Uh, I feel good when I do shopping. Uh, very good. So... Again, maybe it's therapy for you. Uh, let's say I feel good when I go shopping or just I feel good when I shop, okay? Instead of do shopping. Very good, Shahili. Uh, my favorite pieces of clothing are dresses. Very nice, Bay. So you like to wear a lot of dresses. Uh, Shahili says it keeps me busy, yes. So it keeps me busy. So shopping keeps you busy. I prefer window shopping. So window shopping is when you go look, but you don't buy. Uh, and it's much cheaper. It's good exercise uh, instead of, you know, buying everything that you see. And Bay says, I prefer shopping online for sure. No human contact. Ha, ha, ha. I understand that. And I'm kind of the same way. Okay, great. Thanks, Bay. And Lena says, my favorite piece of clothing or my favorite is a blazer. It is like a jacket. It is colorful. Okay, great. So many colors. It's colorful. Okay, great, Lena. Very good. Uh, I like shopping like all women. Women? W-O-M-E-N. Irene. I've met some women that don't like shopping. So maybe Bay is an example. She doesn't like shopping. I know lots of other women who don't like shopping. So let's say I like shopping like most women or many women, but all women, you know, I've met lots of women who don't like shopping. Okay, great answer, Irene, thank you. And Lena says, I prefer in person, I like to feel the texture before buying. Oh, so texture is the material. So how does the material feel? Good answer. So maybe that's a benefit of shopping in person, um, but they also know that once you feel it, you'll wanna buy it. So they want you to go into the store touching and feeling all the material. Okay, very good, Lena. So thank you so much for your answers. Uh, I think it's time to move on, uh, unless you have anything else you'd like to add. Uh, maybe for the last question, number four, how do Canadians dress? It depends, right? It depends on their age, which city they live in too, right? So I live in a smaller city. People don't dress very fancy here. So they might wear jeans, t-shirts, uh, hoodie, we'll talk about hoodies later, but 
Yeah, that, that's a good answer, Lena. I like what you say here. Canadians dress nice, not so trendy. So we're not really up on the latest fashions, at least here in Halifax. Maybe in the big cities, uh, Toronto, Montreal, Vancouver, they dress nicer than we do here in little old Halifax. And Lena says, for example, in the USA, people dress really fancy. So I, I definitely agree with that. Although uh, I know some Americans don't dress too fancy. Um, there's a really funny website called The People of Walmart. And if you look at them, they're not very fancy. They wear terrible clothes. Uh, but you're right, most Americans, especially in the big cities, dress better than us, maybe. Uh, so Irene, I like jeans, uh, sneakers, I think you mean sneakers, and high heel shoes. Okay, good. How do you spell sneakers, Irene? Sneak. Sneakers. So I think sneaker is like, these are my sneakers. Uh, it's a good word, just the spelling is a little bit off, Irene. Okay, anyway, let's move on. So, this is a fun part. Let's talk about vocabulary. So, get your fingers ready. I want you to type it in. Uh, sorry, I'm going to remove Irene's comment here. Let's talk about these words. Um, so, we're going to go through, starting at the top of the body. So, we'll start with the head area. And what are the things you might wear on your head? So I have three pictures. If you know any of these, type them into the chat. So what would we call these things that you wear on your head? Okay, Lena got hat. So first one, I think they're all hats. You know, they are all different styles of hats. So the first one, definitely we would call a hat. Uh, cup. Close, but a cup is for drinking. Cup is for drinking. I think you just have a spelling mistake, Lena. So, C, not C-U-P. Uh, Shohili's out. Okay, maybe she's leaving. Okay, bye, Shohili. Take care. Uh, Bay got took. So, the third one, the winter one. Do I have one here? Whatever. Uh, so the third picture is definitely a toque. Very good. Bay hat. Very good. Lena got it now. Cap. No problem, Lena. Mistakes happen. Bay got it too. Uh, hat, cap, beanie. Oh, that's a good word. Beanie. Uh, hi, Amar no, Welcome to the show. I don't think you've joined us before. So welcome. Thank you for joining. Okay. So I have the answers here. I said hat, cap, or ball cap, uh, because, you know, it's used for baseball and maybe some other sports. And then finally, toque, or winter hat, you could say. Uh, but beanie is a good one, too. So beanie is a certain style of toque or winter hat. So you got them all. Very good. And hello. Thank you for joining us. Hat, baseball cap, and toque. So I think we're good. So check your spelling. If you don't know the word, write it down so you can practice it. If you're in Canada, maybe you need to go buy a toque or ball cap, and then you can practice using these words when you actually go buy these things. All right, next one. So looking at the face, specifically what they are wearing to cover their eyes. So two different types here. Oh, we have an answer here. Okay, Lena's first. Glasses. So the first one are, we say a pair of glasses or just glasses. And the second one, sunglasses. Okay, and Bay got it too. Great. 
And sunglasses, good, probably one word, Bay. So just put those words together, sunglasses. And then we have picture two. Oh, Rodrigo got fancy on us. So optic glasses and sunglasses. Let's just call them glasses. Good old glasses and Irene got it too. Again, sunglasses is just one word. So here's the spelling. I said a pair of glasses or just glasses. And then sunglasses are the second one. Awesome, great guys, let's move ahead. So now we're talking about what you would wear over your, over your shirt. So three different things you might wear on your upper body. Okay, Lena is fast today. Wow, you must have had your coffee, Lena. You're, you're getting all the answers. Jacket, good. Coat, very good. That's the second one. Third one, uh, Bay got it. So good, Bay, jacket. Awesome, Rodrigo got them all. So jacket, coat, and suit. You could call the, the top part of the suit also like a, Sometimes, sometimes they're called sport coat or like Bay said, blazer. Yes, so I think if it's worn by itself or a certain style of sport coat, we can call a blazer. So I'm not a fashion person. I don't know the exact difference between blazer, suit jacket, sport coat. I don't think it matters. Um, so let's just show, uh, yes, I see Irene got it too. So jacket, coat, coats could be longer than a jacket. Usually a jacket stops at your waist and a coat can be longer, maybe down to your knees. And then finally a suit, sport coat, if you're just talking about the top or blazer works as well. Oh, Irene is being specific. So leather jacket, very good. So we'll practice this later, but we can also talk about the material. What kind of jacket is it? It's a black leather jacket. I've always wanted to wear a black leather jacket, but I don't know how it would look on me. Maybe I'm not cool enough or badass enough to wear a leather jacket. I don't know, I got a scooter now, so maybe that would look pretty cool. Black leather jacket and my scooter um, for my midlife crisis. Okay, moving on. Now we're talking about what these two are wearing, just the top part. So. What's Buddy wearing and what is the lady wearing? Oh, Irene says, you think it's cool? You think I would look cool or you think I am cool? Uh, I don't know. I'd have to, to try it out. Why not, right? You only live once. Uh, sweater, very good, Lena. So the first one is a sweater and the second one you got it, Rodrigo, sweater. What about the second one? So I think everybody got sweater. Good spelling, you guys, that's great. Yes. Oh, I think we have a winner. So hoodie, we would call the second one probably a hoodie. I mean, it is a type of sweater, but since it has a hood, we talked about that when we talked about Canadian culture, we call it a hoodie. Right, so she is wearing a purple hoodie. Um, pullover, sure, yeah. I mean, to me, pullover sounds a little bit old fashioned to Rodrigo. Nowadays, we would probably call it a hoodie. Um, not sure exactly how it's spelled. How did I spell it? I spelled it I-E, maybe Y. I'm not really sure exactly the spelling of hoodie. Okay, great job, you guys. So we're about halfway through. Now we're talking about different types of shirts. Okay, so three different types of shirts. Uh, the gentleman on the left, the guy in the middle, and the lady on the right. So how would you describe those shirts? Lena, awesome. So first one is a t-shirt. So usually, 
They cut off here the sleeves. That's a good word. Sleeves cut off here. We'd call that a t-shirt because it's shaped like a T. Okay, and Bay got that one too. Uh, Irene's commenting about my leather jacket. I think it's worth a try. I think a leather jacket will suit you. I say this as a designer and stylist. Okay, so you're a professional. Awesome, I will check one out if they're cheap because uh, I'm pretty cheap with my money. So if I can find a good one for not too much, I'll check it out. Thank you for saying that, uh, Irene. Okay, Elena got the third one. So first is t-shirt, second one. And third one is a blouse. So usually a blouse is worn by women, but not necessarily. Um, so Vega t-shirt, Rodrigo got blouse, and Irene t-shirt, man shirt, and blouse. Yeah, so uh, for the second one, I said just, just a shirt or a dress shirt, we might call it. So a shirt like I'm wearing now, it has a collar, that's a good word, collar, Buttons, buttons up the front. Usually we would call a dress shirt. And women also can have dress shirts, but I don't know how it's different from a blouse. Maybe Irene can tell us because she's the professional fashion designer, not me. Okay, so t-shirt, shirt or dress shirt and blouse. You guys are rocking it today. The unmentionables, uh-oh. So generally women or people with breasts would wear the first one and the second one, yeah, everybody wears. So uh, we have a question here. What does it mean T in the T-shirt word? That's a good question. Let me find a T-shirt. I have one somewhere. Uh, I can't really find it. So I think Rodrigo, because look at the shape. The shape of the shirt is like a T, right? So the middle part, that doesn't look great. Uh, so the arms look like a T. The body goes down the middle, that's the body of the T. So I think T-shirt is the shape of the shirt. So that's why it's called T-shirt. Does that make sense, Rodrigo? Okay, so T doesn't mean anything, it's just the shape. Uh, and Rodrigo says, uh, okay, got it, okay, awesome. So we learned something today, awesome. Let's move on. So. First one is a brow. That's my brow, eyebrow. And I think Bay got it. It's a bra, B-R-A, bra. Um, short for brazier. Brazier, I think, is a French word, but everybody just says bra. Okay. Uh, I don't have a lot of experience shopping for bras, so. Don't ask me about the sizes or the styles or anything like that. Um, I don't know that word, bay. Um, maybe that's a French word. I, I, I don't know. I, I have never heard that word in English before. Um, okay, next one. Underwear. Very good, bay. So bra on the left, underwear on the right. And then you can be specific. There's different types of underwear. So panties for women, boxer shorts for men, briefs for men, jockeys. I mean, there's a bunch of different types of underwear, but I don't want to be too specific when it comes to underwear. So uh, Irene got it, bra and panties, underwear. Underwear just refers to whatever stuff you wear under. Okay, great. Um, so bra and underwear. And we'll leave it at that. Okay, moving on to the lower half of the body. What are they wearing to cover up their legs? Uh, 
They got it. Great. So we just said, you know, pants. Um, the first one I would say, yeah, pants. That's great. So a pair of pants or just pants. Uh, Lena says sneakers. We're not moving down to the feet yet. Let's just say what you wear to cover your legs. Uh, boots, again, those are feet. Okay, I think maybe Rodrigo got it. So, sorry, Emmer Joe got it too. So pants, jeans, shorts. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And exactly what Rodrigo said. Pants, jeans, and shorts. Uh, Lena said shorts. Very good, shorts. And the second one is jeans. Okay, so I think everybody got them. Pants, jeans, shorts. Awesome, you guys are knocking it out of the park today. Okay, so these are usually only worn by women, but not necessarily. So what are these ladies wearing? Okay, so Lena says skirt. Very good, so that's the one on the right side. The right side is skirt. Left side is dress, and Bay got those too. So dress on the left, and skirt on the right. Uh, very good. And I think Irene is talking about the last one, jeans, tight pants, and shorts. That was from the last slide. So I think everybody got this one, dress and skirt. Awesome. Great, let's move on. All right, now we're down to footwear. So we would call these footwear, or basically things you wear on your feet. So the first one I'm asking what goes under your shoes. So what are the blue things that gentleman is wearing on the left? In the middle, what are those called? And on the right, what are those called? Okay, so Lena got the third one. Sandals, very good. So that's a good word to know, sandals and sneakers, sneakers in the middle, and then socks on the left. So Lena got them all, and Bay got the first one, socks. Um, great. Good job. So I think socks, shoes, or sneakers. Sneakers are kind of shoes, uh, also known as running shoes or tennis shoes. Right, so shoes or sneakers, and then the last one, sandals. Very good. Um, so Rodrigo says socks and tennis, maybe tennis shoes. You mean Rodrigo? Great. And sneakers, okay, good spelling, Irene. So these are what you would wear on your feet. Great job, you guys. And we're almost finished, we're down to the feet. These are things you might wear around the house. So maybe these are not for public. We're only going to wear these in our home. Uh, what are they wearing? So what in the first picture, what's she wearing to keep herself warm? Maybe she just had a bath or shower. Second one, maybe she just woke up and she's drinking her morning coffee. And the third one, what do you wear on your feet? Okay, Lena got the second one. So number two, pajama. Let's put an S, pajamas, always with an S. Uh, so number two is pajamas. Sometimes we make it short because in English we're really lazy. So we just say PJs, P-J. So if you wanted to say PJs. So sometimes we call those PJs because pajamas, you know, it's a long word. Uh, great. So Irene also got pajamas. Bay is very close. Slippers. So that's the third one. Spelling day. So slippers. You're very close. You just need one more letter and it's perfect. Uh, you got pajamas. Very good. <laughs> Rodrigo, towel jacket. Good guess. So, great job. If you don't know the exact word, why not guess? Right? Because it's kind of a jacket and it's kind of made out of towel material. 
So Rodrigo, I love it. Now I'm going to start calling it a towel jacket, but probably better to call it a robe, bathrobe. That's probably better. So Irene got that one and slippers and Bay got the spelling right this time. Okay, very good. So let's take a look at what I wrote. I wrote house coat. So sometimes in Canada, we call it a house coat, or you can call it a robe, or like Irene said, a bath, bath robe. So that would work as well. Uh, next one, pajamas or PJs. And the last one, slippers. Okay, great. So maybe those, a couple of those are new for you. That's awesome. Now we're down, I think this is the last slide. We are down to accessories. So maybe there's one after this. Accessories are what you might wear in addition to the regular items of clothing. So I thought of three accessories we often wear. First one, to keep warm in the winter. The second one, on your wrist to tell the time. And the third one, hold your pants up. Uh, clock. Clock. So two people said clock. That is not correct. We wouldn't call it a clock. Clock goes on the wall, not on your wrist. Uh, okay, great. I think Rodrigo got them all. So first is a scarf. See the doggy wearing a scarf. Second is a watch, right? Clock goes on the wall, watch goes on your wrist. And the third one is a belt. So the belt will hold your pants up. Very good, Rodrigo. Lena got scarf, Bay got belt, Bay got watch. Okay, you guys, great job. So uh, just check your spelling here. Scarf, watch, and belt. Awesome. Last one. Uh, Again, you might wear this around your neck if you're going to work or somewhere important. And the next one you might wear, you know, earrings uh, around your neck, a necklace. What would we call all of these things? Okay, great. Number one, tie, they got it. So wear a tie. I do like wearing ties sometimes. Makes me feel important. Okay, thank you, babe. And Lena got jewelry. Jewelry, maybe spelling is wrong. That's a better spelling. So jewelry talks about rings, earrings, uh, necklaces, bracelets, all of those things that people might wear. And Lena got tie as well. So here we go, tie and jewelry. I believe that's it. So, oh, wow, very specific. Okay, very good, Irene. So, tie, earrings, like I said, rings for your fingers, pendant, a pendant will hang down maybe on a necklace. So, that is great. So, great job, you guys. How did you do? So, that's the end. How did you do with all these words? Did you know all of them? Most of them, some of them, or just maybe a few. So give yourself a score. 100% you know everything, 90% you know most of them, 50% you know half. Give yourself a score, how did you do? Uh, Bay, most of them, awesome. That's great, but maybe you learned a few. So hopefully you learned a few new words. Uh, we got to work on your spelling as well. So Rodrigo says, some of them, about 60%. So this was a good lesson for you, Rodrigo. You learned some more. That's great. Uh, Irene, almost, almost all. So almost all of them, that's great. You're in the fashion industry. So it's really important that you know the names of these clothing items. And Lena knew most of them as well. That's great, Lena. That is awesome. Okay, super. Let's move on. All right, I wanna just talk a little bit about grammar. Uh, specifically, I wanna talk about adjectives. So adjectives are describing words. Uh, for example, a color, right? Red, white, blue, that's an adjective. And when you have more than one adjective, 
before the noun that you describe. Um, then you need to follow a certain order of adjectives. So when we use more than one adjective before a noun, we usually put the adjectives in a specific order. And to show you this, I gave two sentences. So first one, a beautiful new orange sweater or a new orange beautiful sweater. So both of these are describing a sweater. The words are the same, but the word order is different. One sounds right, one sounds wrong. So which one do you think is correct? Is the first one correct, a beautiful new orange sweater? Or is the second one a new orange beautiful sweater? Okay, I'll give you a second and we see, I see a few answers coming in. Sometimes it just, you can go by sound. So which one sounds right to you? Okay, uh, Lena says ABC, I think she means ABC, the first one. First one sounds correct, says Amarjat, okay. Irene says, I think two is correct. And Rodrigo says, both seem correct for me. That's okay at this point, right? So to me, the first one is correct. Uh, the first one, a beautiful new orange sweater sounds much better than a new orange beautiful sweater because the adjectives are in the right order. And I'm gonna tell you what that order is in a second. So you're right, Bay. first one is definitely correct because We'll see in a second. The adjectives follow this order. So usually we have different categories of adjectives, right? So what is the adjective doing? Usually first is opinion. So what do I think of this item? And I chose words that we can use to describe clothing. So is it nice? Is it ugly? Is it beautiful? Uh, pretty, disgusting. There's lots of words we can use to give our opinion about a piece of clothing. So opinion goes first. Second is size. Okay, so is it large, medium, small? XL is extra large, right? So that's usually the second adjective in the order. Third is age. So is it a new, new shirt? Uh, is it a used item? Is it old? Right? So when the adjective is about age, that would come next in the order. Uh, number four, shape. I mean, this doesn't really apply to clothing so much, but I mean, you could say like uh, baggy or loose, right? Uh, maybe you're talking about the patterns, right? So it's a uh, triangle shapes or something like that. So Shape would come after H. Number five, color. So finally we get to color, black, white, green, red, orange, yellow. There's a million colors. Um, origin, where did it come from? Or what style is it, okay? Is it American, Chinese, Indian? These are a few examples of where that thing came from or what style is that? Number seven, material. So what material is that item? Is it cotton, leather, rubber? Uh, next one, what is the purpose? So what's it for? Maybe it's school uniform or work suit or gym shoes. So what is the purpose of that item? So I'm gonna leave this on the, on the screen I'm going to hold up a piece of clothing, either mine or my wonderful wife, Michelle's. And you have to describe it using just a couple adjectives, maybe two or three adjectives. Don't try to use eight adjectives in a row because it sounds stupid. Usually two or three adjectives. And we're going to practice getting the order of the adjectives right. Does that make sense? So let's do one together for practice. Um, here we go. 
So can you see, I'll step back a bit. What are these? How would you describe these? You can say the color, what are they? The material, I don't know. You can't really tell the material. I don't even know what the material is. So are they big, small, color, shape? Okay, I don't see any answers. So nice, okay. Good one, Bay. So they're actually black. Maybe it's hard to tell with this light. So a nice blue short, very good. But we always say shorts like there's two because I think there's two legs. So let's say nice blue or black shorts. That is perfect. Nice blue shorts. Perfect, Bay. That's great. Uh, Rodrigo says medium gray shorts. Very good. So that's perfect. Medium is size. Size comes before color, gray, and then the item is shorts. Awesome. Uh, nice blue shorts. Gray sports shorts. That works too. Very good. Um, a new black gym shorts. Very good, but no ah. Uh. Let's just say new, new black gym shorts. New is H. Yeah. Color. Purpose. Yes, that works. Great. Uh, black, sorry, I saw blue. No problem. Maybe it's my lighting. It does kind of look blue. Let me see. Yeah, it looks sort of blue. So I can't blame you for that, Bay. Uh, blue sport shorts. Everybody says they look blue. So maybe I need to get my eyes checked. You guys might be right and I might be wrong. So everybody gets it. Let's do a few more items. Um... Oh, fancy. Can you guess whose these are? Mine or Michelle's? Pretty nice. Oh, fancy. Maybe I could be a salesman, actually. These are lovely. Something, something, something. Maybe I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see better. Is that better? Oh, good answer. Lena, great. Fancy red high heels or high heeled shoes. Very good. So fancy, I don't know, expensive. We could say something like that. So that is a great answer. Mm -hmm. You could say the color, they're red. Um, size, size seven, it says. I don't know if that's small or large. I think my wife has small feet, so pretty small. Uh, prom red, prom? Like for a prom? Maybe that would come last. So red, high heel, Let red prom, high heels. Or red, high heels for prom. Maybe we would say it that way. Uh, ooh, nice one. Cool red high-heeled sandals. I don't know if we would call it a sandal. i probably a shoe, high-heeled shoe. Okay, great job, you guys. How much time do we have? Oh, we got a bit of time. Okay. Here we go. This is a nice one. Uh, again, this is my wife's. Can you see that? You would wear it over. I hope you don't stretch it. Yeah, she'll kill me if I stretch it. It's not a bad color on me, actually. So what would we call this clothing item? Take that off before I stretch it out. Sorry. So what's the color? Hmm. What's the material, do you think? Orange warm jacket. Okay, so I would say it's orangey. Kind of orange, you know, kind of a mix between yellow and orange. 
yeah, it is sort of orange in this light. So I wouldn't call it a warm jacket. It's, it's pretty thin, right? So it's not thick, it's not that warm, it's light, but maybe not a jacket. Nice wool orange jacket. Yeah, so actually I think it's a sweater. So it is a sweater. Maybe it looks like a jacket from there, uh, but it is nice wool. That's a good guess. Let me check the material. So medium cotton. Cotton is the first material, polyester, acrylic, and rayon. So those are all synthetic fibers, except for cotton. Cotton is natural. The other ones are not so natural. But good guess. You can't really tell from there. Yeah, so I think this is probably a sweater and not a jacket. Uh, let's do a couple more. Oh, here's a nice one. Also not mine. Oh, lovely. No, I'm not going to try this one on. Don't ask me to try it on. So it's not too long, right? Very nice. Ooh. Feels nice too, nice and thin. The material is made in Bangladesh, Bangladesh. Oh, there we go. So material is polyester and spandex. There you go, live and learn. So how would you describe this beautiful polyester and spandex? Item. Oh, that's a good one. Very good, Irene. Dressy floral because it has flowers. So floral means flowers. So it's the adjective form of flowers. Very good word, Irene. I love that. Uh, and it's a blouse. So a woman's like a shirt. We can call it a blouse. Soft, colorful blouse. Very nice. So spelling colorful, one L, Rodrigo. And in Canada, we use O-U-R. So colorful, C-O-L-O-U-R-F-U-L. Colorful. Very good. Uh, oh, Michelle says the yellow one is a cardigan. Oh, good word, Michelle. So the yellow one that we said... This is actually a kind of a sweater called a cardigan. Very good, thank you for sharing. It smells nice. Okay, great, thank you, Michelle. Uh, comfortable black blouse, very good. Excellent, Emma Jo, that's great. Let's do one more. All right, let's give you a hard one. These are new, so I'm gonna show you. I just got these like three days ago because it's that time of year. Oh, weird. It totally makes the screen dark. So what are these? How would you describe these things? I can't even see myself, they're so dark. Uh, I'll have to take them off to see your answers, but what would you call these? I had to get new ones because my friend said that my old ones looked like senior citizens glasses. They were, uh, they were pretty big. I got them at the dollar store. So I don't want anybody to make fun of me. So I had to order these ones from Amazon. Um, what would you call these? Sorry, I have to take them off to see. Cool police sunglasses. Okay, cool, maybe C-O-O-L, Irene. Police, mm, there's another word. Oh, Rodrigo knows the word, aviators. Yes, so like these are like pilots. So people who fly a plane, maybe wore these in way back World War II, something like that. So these are aviator style sunglasses. Very good, Rodrigo, you knew that word. Or did you Google it? Yeah, but uh, great job. 
aviators, they're dark, they're black, they're something like that. Do we have time for one more? Okay, last one, and then we'll move on to our final activity. So also, can you guess who this is? So, it looks a little see-through because of my uh, green screen. So, something you might wear after a bath, a bath to keep your body warm. Actually, I could put this one on. So I wear it around the house to keep myself warm after a nice hot bath. Maybe I drink some hot chocolate. Um, Rodrigo knew it, you knew aviators, good man. I, I suspected you knew that one. So what am I wearing now? that I would not wear in public in a million years, but I'll wear it for you guys because I feel comfortable around you all. What am I wearing and how would you describe it? And it even has a hood. Pretty cool, maybe I'll borrow this. It's a little bit short on me though. So what would we call this? For keeping warm around the house. What are these called? These little thingies. Okay. Very good, Irene got it. So bright polka dot. That is awesome. Polka dot are these things. Can you see? There's a blue polka dot. Purple polka dot. There's all different colored polka dots. So Irene said it's bright polka dot bathrobe. Awesome. A warm bathrobe with a hood. Very good. Cool, warm, white towel jacket. Yeah, so that was uh, Rodrigo's word. So towel jacket, I think that was a joke, Lena. So we'll just call it bathrobe, house coat, something like that. And you guys did amazing. So we practiced describing items. So this is really useful if you have something in mind, you're going shopping, uh, even after you buy something, maybe you want to tell your friends about it and say, oh man, I got these really cool black aviator sunglasses the other day. Oh, neat, where'd you get those? Um, so it's useful for shopping, useful for describing things. Maybe you want to say who you're talking about. Oh, look at that guy in the the gray dress shirt over there. Oh yeah, let's go talk to him. So it can be very useful to describe clothing items for a variety of reasons. So awesome job, you guys. Uh, hope you have a few more minutes because we are gonna do our final activity. Our final activity is we are going to a store and we're going to buy a new shirt. So we're gonna buy a new shirt, here we go. Basically, it's a conversation and I have already created the dialogue. You are the customer and there is a store clerk helping you in the store. So imagine you arrive in the store and you really want that T-shirt, so what would you say if the clerk said, good morning, how are you today? So think about it for a sec and then write your answer. Hi, how are you today? What would you say back to that? And we're gonna go fast because I know we're almost out of time. I'm just gonna choose one answer, show it on the screen and then we'll move on. So Lena said, I'm fine, thank you. Perfect. Let's go to the next one. Uh, can I help you find anything? Can I help you find anything? And I see some other good answers. Irene said, hi, good, thank you, and you, perfect. Bay said, I'm pretty good, thanks. Those are great answers. Lena says, uh, no thanks, I am just watching. Well, actually, for this situation, you have to say yes, because um, 
Actually, we wouldn't say watching. I know what you mean, Lena. We would just say, no thanks, I'm just looking instead of watching. Or you can say, I'm just browsing. Or you can say, I'm looking around. But wouldn't say watching. Watching is when you look at something for a long time, like watching a movie, uh, watching a show, watching a concert, something like that. Uh, so that's what I'm looking for. So yes, of course, I'm looking for some shirts or a shirt, single shirt. Rodrigo got it too. Yes, I'm looking for a t-shirt. That is perfect. Okay, awesome. So we're going to move on. Sorry if I didn't get to your answer, but we're running out of time. Next one, what size do you wear? So what size do you wear for t-shirts? Uh, great, Bay, but uh, let's stick to t-shirts. So for this one, let's just get a t-shirt, uh, but yours is correct too. And my size is medium. Great. So. You can say, my size is this, or you could say, I wear a medium. I wear a medium shirt. I wear a medium, I wear medium size. Middle, we wouldn't really use middle for clothing. So small, medium, large, extra large, extra, extra large. In Canada, we have lots of people who are very large, so extra, extra, extra large but wouldn't say middle, middle size, just medium. Okay, moving on. And last question on this one, do you have any particular color and style in mind? So what kind of t-shirt are you looking for? Are you looking for longer sleeves, shorter sleeves, color? Um, that's a good answer, Lena. So yes, I prefer something bright. So talking about the color, is it a light color, shiny, um, you know, yellow, red, orange? Those are bright colors instead of, you know, I wear more dark colors. And Lena said, no sleeves. Good. So you can have a sleeveless shirt. Sometimes we call those tank tops as well. Uh, that's perfect. Bay, I'd like a black t-shirt. So something about the color and style if somebody's helping you look for a shirt in the store. Let's move on. So the next part of the conversation, the clerk says, follow me, because she's going to show us where, where these shirts are. So what would you say if the clerk said, follow me? Something easy, maybe just thanks, or sure, or okay, or no problem. Something like that. Okay, moving on. Do you see any you like? So the clerk taught, took us to the part where we have the t-shirts, and the clerk says, do you see any you like? So that's great, Irene. I would like something natural lilac. Oh, that's a good color. So that's kind of like purplish color. And Rodrigo says, wow, you have lots of alternatives. Good. So alternatives um, or choices, right? You have a lot of choices. Lena says, this one is great. Yes, this one is nice. Okay, so Lena has chosen one that she likes um, Bay says, I loved this one. How about love? So not past, not before. It's happening now. So I love this one. Perfect. Um, it's perfect on me. Do you know it's perfect until you try it on? So that will come next. So maybe we have to try it on. Or you might say, Lena, it will look perfect on me. Or I think it will look perfect on me. Okay, so do you want to try it on? Do you want to try this t-shirt on? What would you say to that? Do you want to try it on? Oh, 
Oh, that was for the next question. Great. Okay. Uh, yes, please. Okay, good. Uh, yes, please. Sure. Thank you. Something like that. Uh, how does it fit? So Lena said, great. It is perfect on me. That's a great answer. So you could say it fits perfectly or it is a perfect fit. It fits nicely. You could say that. Uh, Irene said, I'd like to try this one, this one on. So great, you could say that. Uh, Rodrigo says, so cheap, I want to buy three. Ha ha ha. Yeah, okay. Cheap, $59 is cheap. Okay. Um, we also have tax here. So uh, how does it fit? It fits well. It's too big. It's too loose. It's too small. I need a different size. There's many ways you could answer that question. Um, and then she says, this one is $59 plus tax. And then maybe that was Rodrigo's answer. And he says, so cheap, I want to buy three. So maybe Rodrigo, uh, I don't know about the exchange rate, but in Canada, you know, $59 for a t-shirt plus tax, you know, it's pretty, pretty expensive. Um, it's very comfortable, it feels perfect. Great answer. So that was for the last question. Uh, it's not on sale. So is that a question, Lena? If it's a question, we can say this, isn't it on sale? Isn't it on sale? Or is it on sale, right? So just change your, your word order a bit. Is it on sale or isn't it on sale? Okay, great. So. They tell us the price, we say, okay, I'll take three like Rodrigo, Mr. Moneybags, or we say, no, it's too expensive, or is it on sale, uh, something like that. Okay, great, and last part, I think we're almost finished. Would you like to buy it? Would you like to buy this shirt? Okay, uh, Irene said, uh, it's a little big. Could I try another, please? Great. So if it's too big, you can ask for another one for sure. Uh, Rodrigo, do you accept coupons? So maybe it's a little expensive. You might have a coupon to help reduce the price. Sure. Yeah, you can definitely ask that. So uh, Lena said, I'm not sure if I want to buy it. Actually, for this conversation, you have to buy it. So would you like to buy it? Yes, or sure, or yes, uh, definitely, or something like that. And Lena says, I will check other options. So maybe that would be a different conversation. Uh, but for this one, we're buying it. So the bay, that's perfect. So just saying sure. And the clerk says, great, I'll ring you up over here. So ring you up means I will allow you to pay for this item, right? I'll ring you up over here and you say, okay, sure, no problem, something like that. We're almost finished. So that'll be 67.85 after tax. Ouch, tax is nasty. Um, how would you like to pay? How would you like to pay for this t-shirt that costs $67.85? I don't have my wallet here. How would you like to pay? Credit card, okay, good. So credit card, okay, uh, cash, debit, that's pretty much it. So credit card, cash, or debit, those are the main ways to pay, at least here in Canada. Okay, and last, would you like a receipt? Okay, Lena's paying by credit card, great. And uh, Bay is paying by cash, that's great. And Rodrigo's paying by credit card. And finally, would you like a receipt? So remember receipt, we talked about that before. That's the piece of paper that said how much it costs and when you bought it. 
make sure you get a receipt because you might need to return that item. So they usually ask for a receipt. If you get home and you decide you don't like it or it doesn't fit, you can take it back if you have the receipt. So I would recommend, especially something like clothing, get that receipt so you can take it back. And Lena said, yes, please. Bay said, yes, please. So we did it. We went to the store and bought a new t-shirt. So hopefully you learned a little bit from that activity. You got to practice your vocabulary and your writing. Um, Irene says credit card and debit card. Can I call simple card? Can I say I will pay card? Usually they might want to know. So credit card, maybe there's a different button that they push for credit card versus a debit card. So debit card is like a bank card. If, if you're not familiar with that, usually they want to know credit or debit or cash, right? So probably you want to say that. Uh, good question though, Bay. I'm oh, sorry, uh, Irene. Okay, so that was our practice dialogue activity. I uh, just want to review what we learned today. So we did some discussion questions about shopping for clothes. We learned a lot of new vocabulary. We talked about the order of adjectives. So that's a good thing for you to practice. Uh, we did some practice describing my items and my wife's items of clothing. And then we did our practice dialogue, shopping for clothes. Time is up, sorry I kept you long today. This was, uh, I think, the longest class yet. Thank you so, so much for tuning in, for participating. We'll have another class next Monday at 11 o'clock, and I think we're gonna talk about calling 911. So for emergencies like fire, police, or uh, medical emergencies, we will practice using the phone to call 911. And you're welcome, Irene. Thank you so much for coming back. And you're welcome, Bay. Thank you very much for coming back. You guys are amazing students, and I will see you next week. Take care, everybody. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye. Bye, Rodrigo. Okay. Take care, you guys. You're welcome.